it is true we should move more yet how we move is another topic stay with me as i go on exploring this topic requires moving our physical body from point A to point B. So it's movement with our physicality, not with our mentality, you know, because mentally we do move much more than physically. I am a recovering perfectionist. And what I mean by that is that I tend to do things by the rules, meaning I'm very good at you know like uh, getting to know the rules and following them so that can be a good or a bad thing it depends on the situation when it comes to learning a movement in a proper form I would say it's a good thing but till some point because hmm, now let's loosen up that uh, perfectionist a little bit and shake it off <laughs> a little bit because if we focus just on form we may lose the fun and the play in it and lose the life in it and my personal become a robot and copycat we don't want that as well we want to achieve balance In the next section, I'm going to explain how I learn movements and exercises through an explanation of a dance step. I would say the more the better is not the case in this situation. I have seen a lot of group classes and group trainings where people like are given a bunch of exercises by the, by the instructors or the trainers and they just hurry to do them and they're like all confused and they don't do the movements as properly as they should I don't think they get enough benefit from it I too have personally attended like group trainings and I don't like them if they're with more than like six people it also depends on the trainer the trainer may correct you and you may learn through the group also the correct exercise but if it, it's a group class like with two, 20 to 30 people I don't think that's good it doesn't work for me if you do a bunch of exercises yet do them without proper form I would say that's not a good thing. So if a movement or an exercise is new to you, maybe spend time first learning the basics, learning the proper form of the movement. Once you understand the movement, once your body has integrated the movement, I would say then is the time to start playing with it. What I mean by playing is that then you can start combining it with other exercises, you can add more weight to the exercise, you can add speed and other things. Or simply, you know, just use it in your life, use it in your movements, in your daily life. So, as I understand so far, uh, as it has been my approach, it's there's one part of learning, focused learning of a movement, and then there's the part of letting go and playing with it. You don't have so much to think about the movement, so you just integrate it in the body. But even if you start playing with it, you still want to stay conscious with your body. Don't disassociate from the body. If I want to learn a new movement and I don't have any trainer or an instructor with me in the physical world showing me how to do the exercise correctly I would start by you know like uh, watching a video with a movement that I want to learn it could be a tutorial so if it's a tutorial it's already explained so you can follow along but if it's a movement that you know is that you like from a video and it's not explained how to be done 
I what I have done in the past is um, slow the speed down of the video. I would put it at 0.5 and I would just analyze what is being done in the video. Then what I do is I try repeating what I understand with my body. So I try to integrate it and to feel it in my body. I start becoming familiar with the movement. If a movement is too unfamiliar in my body, it would take me like a lot of time to integrate it. And it takes practice and it takes effort to integrate it, but it's possible. Please don't force it though. Be patient with, with your body and with yourself. Go to the mirror and take your video with you. Start by trying to copy what is being explained or what you have analyzed in your slowed down video. Isolate parts of the body that are needed for the movement. It may feel impossible to isolate them. I know, I've been there. As you make yourself familiar with that part of the body and the movement, slowly, slowly, as you continue practicing it, it will grow more and more natural to you until you come to the point where your body automizes it. Keep on going. You may want to walk around, play some music and dance move as it comes to you, to shake it off and loosen up a bit. Then go back to the step once again. If you practice the step every day, for a few days, weeks or months, I assure you in time it will get better and better and you will be able to do it effortlessly and play with it. One final thought though, if you're interested more about coming back to the basics and starting from there, there is this book by Dan Millman called Mind Body Mastery and it's a very good book where he speaks a lot about how he integrates coming back to the basics with his students and how it has helped them a lot in improving at their athletic training. So check it out and let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you and if you have your own approach to learning a movement and if you like this content please like it actually and subscribe to my channel if you like this content and uh, yeah take care